Soft body physics are a game dev secret to make the most satisfying collisions ever. But they also have the potential to completely break your entire game if you aren't careful. I spent the last two weeks adding soft body physics to my GMTK game jam game, Roll Reverse to Cut the Rope, where instead of cutting the ropes, you are the rope, to learn how to add this super fun soft body physics effect so you don't have to. It's a lot harder than you might think, but I'm going to share its secrets and explain why soft body physics breaking my game is actually the best thing that could have ever happened to it, and I am really glad it did. Before we can break anything, first we need a mini prototype to figure out how we're going to even add soft body physics to our game in the first place, and turn Om Nom here from a solid ball into a jiggly jelly mess on impact. In the real world, the less official name for jiggly jelliness is springiness. Springs deform on impact and bounce back into place just like we're going for. So how about we place springs all around Om Nom, let it bounce, and this is slightly more exciting, but it's lacking one more key feature. Sprite deformation. I got this incredibly right last time, as you can see, but my perfectionism was telling me that it could be done slightly better. Let me explain. If we take a box here, when something hits here, the only way it can move is by taking the whole line and shifting it to the right. This is just regular old boring hard collisions. However, in the last video, Rope showed us that the more points you have dividing your line, the more flexible it's going to be. The way sprite deformation works in a lot of other software is you can define some pins that you stick into wherever you like on the image. And by moving one of these pins from its original position, we get the soft body effect. Soft body physics is however called soft body physics, and not just soft bodies. And that's because we want these soft body pins to interact with the physical world the same way anything else does. Giving each one its own rigid body and sphere collider in a ring around the player gives us the effect we're after. And even move it works perfectly. Look at him go, this is pretty awesome and I would be happy to stop here. But then let's just go ahead and add the ropes back and just give me a second. This is genuinely some of the funniest breaking of a game that I've ever seen. As soon as I added soft body physics, I just sat for hours watching this all happen and it was hilarious. <laughs> Gotta laugh through the pain. Huh. Even with that fix though, you can see in this comparison that the soft body rope swinging is just so so much worse even when it's working. I don't think there's anything that can be done about this. It's literally failing because dangling a moving, squishing, springing, center of gravity blob changing ball on the end of a rope is gonna interfere with the rope's physics. This is inevitable. Or so we thought. Last time it was a checkbox I needed to change. This time I just had to play around with this number a bit and just, I literally just went and it landed on a random number and it happened to be the right one. Okay, well, that was, that was fun. That was two hours well spent. It's now time to do something you're probably screaming at me that I should have done immediately. These ropes suck. They just magically exist, fully made and in the right position. What we really want is to shoot them out like Spider-Man into the right position. It didn't really matter before because this isn't exactly screaming polish and perfection, but now we have soft bodies, anything harsh and snappy and just rigid and just on and off like this just does not feel right at all. That's another thing that makes adding soft bodies to your game really hard. Everything else now needs to fit around this aesthetic or it just won't be fun to play. For example, here's a version of the game where everything is a soft body other than the ball, and although you might not explicitly notice this, something feels wrong every time it collides with the walls. It's just missing something. Currently our rope code starts at the rope holder and builds out the pieces until it reaches and hooks onto the player. If we want the player to shoot the ropes instead, we need to do the exact opposite. Surprisingly, completely reversing how this part of the code works causes some slight issues once again. Very weird. Reversing roles sucks. I don't know whoever had this idea, but they're an idiot. Everything we've changed in this video has been because soft bodies have broken. And you might find this strange, but that makes me really, really happy. But not because I think it's going to be easy to fix these things, but because I think it's going to be impossible to fix them. Why on earth do I love the fact that it's impossible to fix absolutely game-breakingly huge issues with my game? Well, it's because this limitation forces me to come up with a creative solution instead. Creativity thrives under constraints, and the constraint of being completely impossible to fix is pretty much the most constrained constraint you can get. Thank god I randomly made this little circle blue because it's given me an idea. Is it just me, or does this player look like a water balloon? Especially here when they squish all over the floor. But what happens to water balloons when they hit something too hard? They pop. Water sprays everywhere. And the exact same thing now can happen with our player as well. We're already storing all of this information in the springs of how far apart the points are because we're using them to bring it all back together again. So if at any point any one of them gets too far apart, then we can just break it a little bit. Just a tad. And although everything in this game has been broken, now we've gone through that process of having to remake it all, it's significantly better and I wouldn't want this any other way. Which got me wondering, if we can attach a rope holder point and click to this, attaching to a moving platform, how's the rope going to interact? Are we going to fly away to victory or are we going to do any one of the billion other things that can probably happen and yeah. I'm not crazy though, in theory this should work. Right now if we pick up and grab the end of the rope and the inspector, everything moves around great. We just need to do it in code instead with a moving endpoint. Don't look at that. And this might be the first thing that's actually 
actually worked. And this is awesome. It gives us this amazing momentum effect that we can really use to design some awesome levels. I don't understand why so few game developers are using it because it opens up a whole world of possibility. And trust me, we're going to explore all of them in the next video where we take this to the next level with more art, more levels, and of course, more softness. Happy coding, everyone.